Hey harpists, it's Elizabeth from Houston Harp Music, and I'm going to show you today how to transpose your music. This is one of the great features of being able to notate your music in a program like MuseScore, rather than doing it by hand. Um, you can quickly and easily change the key. So I recently was asked to play the song Come Thou Fount, um, which I have an arrangement of that I've already created, so that wasn't a problem, but they asked me to do it in a different key from my arrangement. So all I have to do is take my song and transpose it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Command and the letter A. Oops, I have to select something. Command A, and notice how it put all of my music in these blue lines. That means everything is selected. On a PC, I would hold down Control A. These are the same commands that you would use in a Word document to select all or to pick everything that's selectable. Um, and then I'm going to go up to the menu and I'm going to go to Notes and I'm going to go to Transpose. And it gives me these options. I can transpose chromatically by key. Um, right now, I am in E major, or, or the C sharp minor, in this case it's E major. Um, I can pick a different key if the singer says, hey, we're going to be singing it in D major. All I have to do is click on that. Um, and right now the default is to transpose closest, so it's going to go to the from E to the closest D. Um, if you specifically want it to transpose up or down, you can select that. Okay, so if I hit OK, and there it is. It's as easy and as fast as that. Suddenly, my piece is in D major. Um, if I go back to transpose, you can also transpose by interval. So if it is just slightly too high and you want to go down a whole step, a half step, a major third, whatever it is, you have those options. I want to go a major third down. And there it is. I don't have to know what key that is. It automatically figures it out for me and it transposes everything. And the third way that you can do it is you can transpose diatonically. And um, I have never used this for harp music, but you have all these options. Um, if you have chord symbols in your music, it will also transpose the chord symbols. Um, so remember the chord symbols are the note above um, saying what, what chord this would be, a B. There would be a B up here saying that this is a B chord. If I then transpose my music, I don't want it to be a B chord anymore. It's now whatever it is, a D or something. So it, I, I've never unchecked this, so you would definitely want to have that. Um, and then within this you have some options to use only single sharps and flats or you can use double um, and harp I really only use single I don't like it to say double flat I would rather it just say the other note because that's probably what I'm going to play unless I'm uh, doing some inharmonics so anyways that is how you transpose your music very quickly and easily in MuseScore